I yeah I I, I have read um, on in the news and then uh, about such uh, situations where um, abuse is on the rise because they're all stuck at home. Um, parents with their children and then grandparents as well. I can understand. Um, I, I really I really don't know what uh, how to respond to that because I'm previously when I was in school, yes, uh, I do have such uh, cases of children being abused at home and you're right about uh, school being a safe haven for them. That's that's how they get away with uh, some of the abuses. Um, staying home means they get to experience it much more, maybe more intense than uh, than being away from from home. Uh, it's a respite for them when they go to school. So how to help? It really, I I don't know. Um, even at that point in time, um, it's very difficult to help some of these uh, students because some cases are very sensitive and you need to get expert help uh, how to deal with such cases. Now with this pandemic and then people staying home and you have cases of abuses, I guess um, neighbours have to come in uh, friends, um, relatives, I think they have to step in and call and ask how are you doing, uh, how are things with you and if if they really need help then uh, they should be given certain numbers maybe uh, how to reach to others who can come and help them when, when uh, you know when there's a need to, for them to 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 be helped, uh, it need not be the police, but it could be uh, a neighbor, it could be uh, a relative living nearby who can straight away come to their rescue, maybe sort of um, in a way help to not make things worse, try to alleviate the problem by stepping in and uh, helping out uh, to to whoever is uh, being abused in a home yeah basically um, for this for I this guess... kind of uh, sorry for this kind of uh, children who un, who mm. over, who goes through emotional exhaustion with this kind of abuses mm. Uh, mm. how do they fare how do they fare academically when they uh, when, when, when they go back to school when previously before this COVID when their school is being their safe haven yeah? so how do they fare when they are in school actually I think for those in uh, those who are much older or even for those who are young probably it's a welcome mm. to be back in school um, then they get the chance to see their teachers and see friends and uh, that's how I think some of these students when you, like you know like uh, like what Shaima said uh, it's a haven for them to go back to school so it's a uh, school is a haven for them and then going back being able to be with their friends uh, see their teachers they get a chance to vent out uh, some of their frustrations, they're able to talk and maybe from there um, they are able to uh, lessen, reduce their stress and lessen their um, so-called um, whatever depression they are going through at that time. Uh, for all you know, they will really welcome going back to school mm, and uh, being, and spending more time in school, being able to uh, be with friends, be with teachers, uh, it's a it's, it's it's a welcome. Yeah. Yeah, mashallah. Yes. I think that's that's how I feel. That's how I feel. Um, no doubt, no doubt. Parents uh, and and uh, relatives might be able to help, but nothing like friends mm. and and even teachers to be by your side when you 
really need help. Yeah.